Webflow online store tutorial for beginners how to create online store using Webflow. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily set up our own online store using Webflow website builder. It's pretty easy. So here we are on webflow.com. We have some information about the product, solution, resources, enterprise and pricing. So let's get started. We'll click on start uh, for free or start building. Basically, it doesn't matter because here on this page, we'll need to create an account with Gmail or email. So I'm going to continue with Gmail as for me, this is the most suitable variant. So in a few seconds, we'll come to our homepage basically. And as you can see, we have like dashboard marketplace with tutorials, templates, apps, libraries, learn and resources, which are about tutorials basically. And our account uh, settings where you can find profile settings, public profile, workspace, grades and sign out. So on the workspace in dashboard, we can find the uh, websites we've already made. For example, I have two websites and we can easily delete, duplicate, move to folder, share or go to editor. So let's delete one of my websites to start creating the online store from scratch. So this is option like what can we do with our websites we already have. So let's click on a new site to create an online store in our case. And as you can see, they provide us the opportunity we can create it from scratch by simply clicking right up here. Or we can click on store starter to find uh, the template which are, looks like this. Basically, uh, all the features should be customized. Or we can scroll down to find the templates of different options. We can simply click on view all. And as you can see, all the templates are paid. They cost like 49 to $100, even more. But if we'll come back through our like templates page and we'll scroll down, we'll find the free templates we can easily use for small businesses, learning, blog and photography. So we can click on view all and we'll come to free website templates where we can find uh, templates with online store templates basically. So yeah, uh, we can easily use it for free. So for example, I found one template and it's somewhere here. So let's wait for a little and for example, we can easily use this one with toy store, but don't worry, we can easily customize it to our like purposes. So let's click on preview in browser and it looks like this, like small categories, like uh, the products they sell. And as for me, it's pretty cool. We can easily use this template. So let's click on use for free. And here we are on the start creation. Uh, we need to set up our name. So let it be like Ilya's amazing site. Let it be like this, create a site. And we'll come to the our editor page. Uh, so from this page, we can manage all the store. We can add products, add different categories. I will show you how to do it. So all we need to do is just to click on these like icon in the left side and as you can see we have like e-commerce area here where we can find the guide so we can follow the guide to customize all of our like shop so uh, but in this case i'm going to show you what's these guys inside so there is like products option where we can find all of our products here uh, we can simply add a new product by simply click on a new product we can uh, import them by from different like csv template and so on or we can export if we need to export our product so let's click on a new product here and we'll come to our like creation page where we need to set up name slack at the description choose the category add the images add more images and so on change the price so here is the way of how can we add new products to our store from this page here uh, we can also customize every single product we already have. So we can just simply click on it. And as you can see, there is like all the information about it. So we can just simply click and change all the stuff inside. And as for me, it's pretty easy and intuitively like understandable. Also, they have like category area here where we can find the categories. We can create different categories to make it easier for the customer to understand what would he like to you know buy so only add the name and slack and after that the category will be successfully added and the discounts area where we can add the new discount as you can see also set up some information and after that 
it will be added to our website and of course some orders we don't have any orders when you do start getting orders uh, you'll see them here so it's pretty cool so we can manage our orders from this folder here and this is the only one like uh, option we can deal in order to customize the wall store we just simply need to click on any single part here and after that we are ready to uh, change something for example we can change the name let the helper month store something like this we can just simply make it bold make it italic and in the right side there is like main options we can change for example we can change the style and make it style selector change the layout change the spacing change the size position uh, work with different fonts so these are the ways basically of how can we interact with every single part here in the right side there is the uh, settings we can do change the backgrounds and so on also we can go to settings uh, folder here and also customize something here uh, we can add different elements in the left uh, side menu we can add like sections containers grid columns div blocks add the e-commerce stuff like cart add to cart option web payment paypal we can add some media with different images videos youtube we can add forms with form block label input like file upload text area and so on so sometimes it could be really helpful and in this case this is a way of how can we interact with every single part here so all you need to do is just to spend a little time we can change the image here and so on so for example as you can see the image was successfully changed in order to publish our website we just simply need to click on publish in the right top corner we can find the free domain provided by webflow with webflow.io subdomain or we can add the custom domain if we have it so let's click on publish to selected domains to use their free domain and in a few seconds everything is done and our uh, online store is available on the internet of course there is like no option to buy an item because we didn't add any like payment methods but simply we can visit this uh, like store as you can see the name is right up here the icon was successfully changed so this is the way of how can we publish and if you'll go to dashboard here uh, we can find the our our like online store is right up here so we can interact with it in the same way go to editor and so on if we'll try to scour their paid plans as you can see for e-commerce they have like three plan standard plus and advanced uh, standard is $29 per month plus is $74 and advanced is $212 so uh, you can start it with the lowest pr plan and then you'll decide is it necessary for you to buy for example plus which is the most popular but basically yeah this is the way of how can we build our online store on webflow hope guys this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye